Okay, we're back with the C3. Um, as I told you in previous video, um, I'm going to address this crack right here. This is on the front driver driver side front fender, as you can see. It's in pretty bad shape. But anyways, uh, this is the worst of the of the damage on this vehicle. So it starts up here, works its way down, right about to there where that little spot is. So what I'm going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grind it out. We're going to V it out so we can get some uh, resin in there to hold it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this without having to pull the fender off. Like I said, uh, I'm sure I'll have some naysayers and people talking crap, but I've done this before and it works just fine. I'm going to show you how to reinforce it also from the outside. So let me pause this real quick so I can get this grinder on and we'll show you. Okay, here we are. We're back. I'm going to try to grind this. I'm going to do this one-handed. Since my camera ran's a pussy. Oh, I could say that, right? That's not, that's a, that's part of the guidelines I could say without getting in trouble. Uh, you got asthma. Yeah, what was I say? Can't hurt him. You got it. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's what it looks like after you grind it out. You got to grind the whole thing out because you're going to have to get some resin up underneath there. Uh, but most of the reinforcement is going to be on the on the top part. Usually when you're reinforcing fiberglass, you reinforce it from the back. But if you can't get good access to it, then you could do it from the front. But uh, you know what? I might actually have some access to it from the back. I'll check it out. Looks like I can. If I can, we'll, we'll uh, put some cloth in the back there and put some resin there first. And then we'll build it up. But you gotta be, you gotta not, not necessarily V it out. I don't want to V it out too much because then I'll have big, a bigger hole than I, I had already created. But you just take a grinder and just put it in there and start digging it out. You want to get that crack out of there. You don't want to have any part of it left, otherwise it'll come back. Some people put a hole on the end here, but I think I got this pretty wide where you don't. You're not gonna have to put anything. You're not gonna have to drill a hole. It's done. So the crack is stopped. There's no more. It's not going to crack anymore from where it's at. And that's what it looks like. So the next step, I'm going to put some resin on this. So uh, I'll cut you back on after that. Okay, I'm back with you for a short time here. I wanted to show you. I wanted to really show you how I could do it from the front, to doing the reinforcement. But it looks like, if you look from back here, this piece right here comes off real easy. And it snaps right here and actually screws. Let's see those two screws right Those Not screws, those two bolts right there. Those two bolts come off. And that holds it in place. You take those two off. And I believe this whole thing will come off. And then once you've got it off, you can access. I don't know if I can get the camera in there. Can we get it in there? Hold on, let me move my cover. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, you can. See that line right there? Let me see if I can poke my finger through it. Yeah. There's my thumb. So, we can put some resin in there. We'll clean it up, put some lacquer thinner, clean the inner wall up, scuff it up a little bit. And then we'll put some uh, cloth and some resin on there. And then once that dries, um, then I'll scuff the outside, sand the outside. You don't need to do it right now because right now what I'm going to do is put a, we'll put a piece of tape over this. So when we put the resin in from the back side, it don't go all over the place. But, the, but you don't you want to put the tape on kind of put a wide piece of tape on put it kind of loose so then when you push the resin in it might come up might bubble up a little bit over the top which is what you kind of what you want you want to get it to get a good bite and then once it's dry then we're going to grind this down or sand it down and then we'll put a we'll put a layer over the top with some cloth on the top as well and I'll show you some economical cloth that we can use for this um, for the back side as well we can use cloth or you can use you can actually use uh, a few things as long as it's got some reinforcement that's all you really need to do and uh, 
And um, it's good to use a plastic type because the resin will melt the plastic reinforcement and it'll kind of weld itself together. It's actually stronger than using like just a regular cloth. Uh, some people disagree with that and I tell them, well, whatever. It's your choice. But I'm going to show you how to do it my way and it will hold. It will never crack again there. It might crack again somewhere else, but not there. So it looks like we got some good news we're going to be able to do from the back. I'll cut you back on when we're ready to do that.